Today you're gonna to learn about a new accessory for your cook system and you're also gonna learn a new notch. Those two things all wrapped into one video. Now. This past weekend we had a basic survival class here at the Appalachian Bushman School. Two thumbs up to everybody who participated. You did a great job. The reason I'm bringing that up is because at every class, I feel like I'm almost a student also. I learned so much from the students and from instructing because I need to think of different ways to explain things when a student just isn't catching on or when we're developing a new process or a new technique to teach them. And while we were in the process of cutting notches during our knife safety, knife use demonstration, one of the students handed me their stick and I looked at it and I said, I'm stealing this idea this week, I'm gonna do a video on it. So here's that video, stolen from my student's idea. I don't like to say I stole it from him, it was sort of, it just all worked out. The stick he picked, it, you'll see. All right, let's get started. Now a lot of you may have seen in past videos this notch from me. Now I call this multiple things, I'm sure there is a name for this, but I always say either a hook notch or a pot notch because we use this a lot of times on a certain cook system. We hook this over the end of a stick and that is what holds it in place. So this notch I'm gonna show you right now is a simple variation of this. When we identify where we want our notch, we're going to begin not straight up and down like this, but we are going to angle our knife in. So I'm gonna then take a baton and I'm going to hammer my knife in. And once we pull our knife out, we're going to come above what we just cut and we're gonna cut down to it. That area that we just cut into is gonna be the same as a stop cut. We wanna just be very careful we don't overdrive and remove too much material. That's gonna cut away that bottom section. So now what we have here is a pot notch that is way more robust for a pot. How we can adapt this to a cook system is simply, boom, look at this, Y branch. If this is done on a Y branch this way, when our pot is hanging, we now can use this as a hook. So it can go on a multitude of different cook systems from rope trammels to our famous Kepart cook system. Super nice, right? I love it. So this was Dan Wall, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know I have a good time with these short little tips and tricks. I'm super excited about this for some reason. So as always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.